How's it going everybody? It's Josh from Dykes Enterprises and today we're going to be doing another product review. This time we're going to be taking a look at a Harbor Freight 4 pound dead blow hammer. Let's go check it out. And here it is. This is the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh brand 4 pound dead blow hammer. Item number 41800. Comes with a lifetime warranty. And it is in neon orange, the only color you can buy it in. This is not the first hammer like this I have had. It's actually the second hammer like this that I have had. And these are the same exact hammers. I have had this hammer for approximately five, maybe six years, possibly a little bit longer. And if we take a look at it, it's a little dirty, a little hard to see, but you can still make out the same Pittsburgh that's on the head. We flip it over, it's marked four pounds, four pounds, the handle design, no difference between the two. Not much has changed since these hammers originally came, came out, which is a great thing because um, there was really nothing wrong with them. And this hammer lasted quite a while. It just recently blew the two ends out of it. And, I mean, you know, it's taken a lot of beating. It's about six or seven years old, give or take, five to seven, somewhere in there. Uh, it's been beaten up. It's I've used this for all kinds of stuff, and I was beating on a couple of brackets that needed to slide on a trailer for a client. And sadly, both faces finally gave way. I've had this thing for so long, I 100% forgot that they come with a lifetime warranty. Now, I am not sure if I need the receipt with one of these to do a lifetime warranty. I'm going to go find out. I didn't go to Harbor Freight today. I just got this uh, hammer yesterday. Um, I didn't go to Harbor Freight today because it is just raining terrible outside. It's, it's horrendous out there and it's not that big of a deal. So I'm going to go tomorrow. I'm going to talk to him and see whether or not I need a receipt for this return or if I can just, uh, go ahead and since it's clearly a Pittsburgh hammer and they all come with a lifetime warranty. I'm just going to see if I can exchange it without a receipt, see you know, what they say, and just kind of go from there. I mean, I already got a new one, so it's not that big of a deal. Now, there's a few points or topics I'd like to talk about when it comes to these hammers. Uh, the first one is going to be the construction. Um, it's kind of the first three, I should say, the construction, the durability, and the safety of it. And as you can tell, this hammer's held up very well. It's very durable, the design on it. I do have a couple small spots where, you know, I nicked it up. Obviously the face takes the brunt of the damage. I've hit that can a couple of times on the inside. You can see it's all dented and marred up, but it's not broken. If I flip it over, same thing if I pry that open. You can see where I've hit the can on the inside. It didn't break open, it didn't bust nothing flew anywhere very good safe hammer uh, even when the faces failed on it the can didn't rupture sending BBs flying everywhere which is a safety hazard so even though it failed I'm happy I got six years out of a hammer that costed me $11.99 um, possibly even less if I got it with a 20% off coupon or on sale. I don't remember how much I paid for that one originally, but this one yesterday without a coupon and not on sale cost me $11.99. That's not a bad price for a four pound dead blow hammer, especially compared to Snap-on or Matco or any of the other large name brands. And don't get me wrong, there are plenty of those tools that I swear by, I love, I mean, I do have a snap-on dead blow hammer also, relatively chewed up, and for the most part, I'm a Mako guy, you know, plenty of Mako, uh, Blue Eagle, things of that nature, that's what I'm a big fan of, however, when it comes to a dead blow hammer like this, you're just going to beat them up, you're going to tear them up. 
why do I want to spend, you know, a stupid amount of money on a dead blow hammer? I don't. I'd rather spend $11.99 with a lifetime warranty, and I don't have to worry about if, you know, these blow out on, in this case, Sunday, if I still needed one, I could have gone out Sunday and exchanged that or bought a new one right at Harbor Freight, because guess what? They're open on Sunday. You know who's not? My Matco truck guy or my Snap-on truck guy. They're not open on Sunday. Harbor Freight is. So that's another big check mark for Harbor Freight, especially for something like a hammer like this. And they make, come in various sizes. Uh, I believe they come in like a two pound and a one pound. Uh, I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. I don't exactly remember. I was in a rush yesterday, but they do come in, I believe, two or three other sizes. This is just my go-to because as you just saw, I already have one of the smaller dead blow hammers from Snap-on. Overall, I'm going to give the hammer a five out of five stars. Definitely worth the money, good quality, good durability, good safety, good price point. You can't beat $11.99 with a lifetime warranty. Overall, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, and the other good thing, you know, even if you're a diehard Snap-on or a diehard Matco guy, look at it like this. If you have a work truck or a work trailer, why would you want to put snap-on tools on something that your guys are going to be out there using? Because you know what happens to tools. They like to grow legs and walk off. Or if uh, if the tools aren't yours, you know how uh, the old saying goes, mind over matter. If it's not mine, it doesn't matter. And they use and abuse stuff. I'd rather have a 1199 hammer out on a company work truck or work trailer or whatever it is instead of a snap-on one now if it's my own personal toolbox yeah maybe i'll get a snap-on one you know but when it comes to hammers especially when i'm gonna you know whale or whale on them and beat on them and you know that's that's the whole point of a hammer uh I i'm gonna go with this every time you can't really beat it i'm sorry there's no there's not much of an argument there uh, you know, for a ratchet, yeah, I can understand things like that. Good air tools, good power tools, but a hammer, it's pretty hard to mess up a hammer. And thankfully, Pittsburgh and Harbor Freight did not mess this hammer up. Five out of five stars. Highly recommend it, guys. So, that's what I think of the Pittsburgh four-pound hammer. If you own one, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of it. Let me know how well it's held up, how long it's lasted, how many days, years, weeks, months you've had yours, and whether or not you've had to have it replaced, and if so, how many times. I've had mine for six years, and this is the first time I've had to uh, you know, get a new one or get a replacement, and I've loved it so far. There's you know, not much that could have gone wrong with it. So leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think of yours. As always... Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification button. We're shooting for 100 subscribers by the end of 2021, and we're well on the way to doing that pretty soon, and I think we can do it. So please check us out also on Instagram at dykus underscore enterprises or Facebook dykus enterprises LLC. Check out some of the other welding and fabrication work that we have going on around the shop other than just some of the videos and some of the reviews that we're doing. And until next time, have a good one.